All right, so today's video needs no introduction. I'm just gonna get right into it. I came back from the gym about an hour ago. Can't believe I checked the mail and I found the one and only arm off untold. I had a friend that hooked me up with a sample and I also have a sample of BR540, but here it is. I got a sample. Um, I can smell it off the top of it. It does smell like Bakura Rouge 540, but let's just see how it is off the first impression and what I think of it. And if I think if if I think it's any good, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. Just because this fragrance is hyped or everyone's saying it's good doesn't mean that I will see it as good. I'm gonna see it on how I want to see it and what is right. Uh, from my perspective just to be honest with you guys so let's try out BR 540 first I'm gonna spray it on my left hand and see I know this one already but okay it's that usual you know it's it's the hard hit of that I don't know that cotton candy taste almost like you know, a bit of saffron, and I think it's the ambergris that really hits, and it almost smells like it has almond in there as well. Um, I believe it does, or that could be the extract. This is actually the Eau de Parfum version that I'm going to be trying it out versus. And then we have Untold. Let's see. All right. Let me just put this arm away a bit because it is very overpowering, that smell. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've lost track of my smell because they smell pretty much the same. Yeah, I can't smell it anymore. Oh wow, I can't smell anything anymore. Wow, at first it smelt like I just had sprayed BR540 on my hand. But this is BR540, this is Untold. And Untold is, is really good. I mean, it smells just like it at first. I'm gonna give it a second to cool down a bit because can't really smell it. It just smells like Bakura Rouge 540 in the air and there's nothing else. So I'm going to give it a second. I'll be right back. It's been about five minutes, not too long, but yeah, this Untold by Armoff smells just like it. Um, even the dry down right now, and it's not even the dry down, but the smell right now is very identical and it's to the point where my nose is getting blind. It doesn't know which one's which. Um, this is gonna be a real hard test to do. If I was blindfolded, I wouldn't know which one's which. Um, that's how close they are. And honestly, with Untold, I'm feeling a little bit more power. You know, I have Parfums Vintage. Uh, I have their Baccarat Rouge 540 clone. I forgot what it was. And then I have Ariana Grande Cloud, which is also similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, but none of those top Untold. Untold definitely has been the closest I've ever smelt and is making me want to get a full bottle. I mean, it's the hype right now and I think it's totally worth it for this fragrance. I 100% agree with the hype. What this one does different is I feel like it has that quality in there. What the Armuff have right now with this untold is that it's got a lot of qualities what it's what it feels like i mean i know armaf is a clone house and they don't you know they're not known for their quality especially with creed ventus they're um sorry they're clubbed in we intense man people were saying that when you first spray it on uh, it smells like lemon uh, cleaning spray or something but yeah i'm not gonna pay 300 dollars. i'm just gonna pay whatever it, untold is which i think is 50 dollars that's way better and it smells just like it that's crazy this is like one of the most accurate clones that we've ever had i know there's another three that they released with this one they released um one for blue de chanel and one for dior sauvage elixir i believe or just dior sauvage and then they also released one from 
for Parfums de Marley, uh, I think it's called Delina. So I have to check those out, but I wanted to check out Untold first since I have a sample of BR540. I don't have Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette, so that's why I never checked that one out. This was exciting. I am glad I tried it. I was kind of not trying to overwhelm myself with the hype, but it is well deserved and yeah, it smells just like it. I wouldn't waste your any dollars on Baccarat Rouge 540. It should be up on fragrancebuy.ca whenever it comes back. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm just gonna hop on and get it. Um, this is definitely a well worth it buy. And I'm sure though, later on, uh, the more they have, the price will go down. But right now, I think it was about $55 online when, when I last checked. Um, but unfortunately, it's sold out. So we'll just wait and see.